What is the nature of reality? What is this thing that we are experiencing and know as reality and what is it made of? Have you ever asked yourself this question? This is a question that has puzzled philosophers, scientists, and thinkers for thousands of years. From Egypt and ancient Greece to quantum physics in the modern world. By trying to answer this question, they transformed our understanding of reality and challenged our deepest assumptions about the world around us. In this video, we try to answer these questions. In the Hidden Secrets channel, we raise questions about the origin and philosophy of existence. Questions that may have prevented us from addressing them since childhood by entertaining the defective educational system. We believe that the right answers always come from the heart of research and logical thinking. If you think like us. So subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to join us on this logical and adventurous journey. We start from ancient Greece, where the famous philosopher Plato uses a strange example to challenge the reality we are experiencing. He describes a group of people chained to the wall of a cave, a fire lit behind them, and the light of the fire causes them to see only shadows moving on the wall. They mistake these shadows for reality until one of them manages to free himself from his chains and see the world outside the cave for the first time. The allegory of the cave is a powerful metaphor for our limited perception of reality. Plato argued that our senses are imperfect and we can only perceive a distorted version of reality. According to Plato, this limitation applies not only to our understanding of the physical world, but also to our understanding of abstract concepts such as justice, beauty, and truth. But what do philosophers think about reality in modern times? In the modern world, René Descartes declared his famous sentence as follows, I think, therefore I am. This sentence of Descartes expresses the idea that the only thing we can be sure of is our own existence, because we are aware of our thoughts. However, this view raises the question of how mind and body are related. In answering this question, Descartes believed in dualism, the idea that mind and body are separate entities. This view was challenged by later philosophers who argued that the mind and body are interconnected and that mental states can be transformed into physical states. But who was right? What is mind and where does reality come from? Is reality a mental issue or not? Does the world really exist outside of our mind? Years passed until in the 20th century, Albert Einstein changed our understanding of space and time with his theory of relativity. He showed that time and place are not constant and absolute, but change according to the position and movement of the observer. Einstein's theory of relativity challenged the idea of constant space and time, which had become a physical principle since Newton's time. According to Einstein, space and time are not constant and are interwoven and influenced by large objects such as planets, stars, and galaxies. This theory has important implications for our understanding of reality, the structure of the universe, and the nature of time itself. In the realm of quantum physics, our understanding of reality becomes even more strange and mysterious. Quantum mechanics challenges our notions of the law of causes and effects and free will and suggests that particles can exist in several different states at the same time. But what does this mean? By definition, quantum mechanics is a branch of physics that studies the behavior of particles at the atomic level and inside atoms. This branch of physics has been very successful in explaining obscure and complex phenomena such as the behavior of atoms and the nature of light. However, it challenges our common sense understanding of causality and determinism. According to quantum mechanics, 
Particles can exist in several states at the same time and regardless of their distance from each other, they can be inseparably connected. It means that a particle can exist in several different places and states at the same time and communicate instantly with another particle on that another side of the world. But this is not the end. Modern theories of cosmology and quantum, such as string theory and multiverse theory, take our understanding of reality even further and show that there may be multiple dimensions and parallel universe beyond our world. If we want to explain them briefly, string theory is a theoretical framework that tries to reconcile quantum mechanics with Einstein's general relativity. It means to explain the world of atoms and particles smaller than atoms with the world of huge masses like black holes and galaxies with one law. String theory assumes that the basic building blocks of the universe are not particles, but small, vibrating strings of energy. String theory also suggests the existence of additional dimensions to the universe. Dimensions beyond the three dimensions of space and one dimension of time that we experience in our daily life. But the multiverse hypothesis. Multiverse theory proposes the idea that our universe is only one of many universes that exist side by side. Each of these worlds has its own unique characteristics and laws of physics. This theory shows that our understanding of reality may be limited by the fact that we can only observe and examine our own world. That is, the reality we experience may be a very limited version of the original reality. In the end, it should be said that our understanding of reality has come a long way since Plato's time. From the limited understanding of the allegory of the cave to the revolutionary discoveries of quantum mechanics and modern cosmology, we continue to challenge our assumptions about our metaphysical world. Who knows what discoveries and new attitudes the future will bring for us?